whatever. I'll be right back. I, this is this is gonna be too long for me, so I'm just gonna back off for a little while. You all can you all can have fun watching this, cause yeah, I'll be back like during the award ceremony. Khrushchev kept his word, saying that if we killed Volgan and took out the boss, he'd be... he'd look the other way. And Snake has to take that. <laughs> oh, well boy. done, Snake. The MiG's disengaged. Most likely under orders from Khrushchev. Is this his way of helping us? Who knows? Maybe he didn't want things to get messier than they already are. Or maybe he just wanted us to owe him one. The important thing is, you made it out alive. As long as Khrushchev is with us, I don't think they'll be coming after you. Yeah. It should be smooth sailing all the way to Alaska. I'm sending someone Alaska. out to Galena Base to meet you. Always got in Alaska. The DCI and the President himself are waiting at Langley. Don't keep them waiting. Alrighty then. Do I want to save? Mm, yeah, because I'm in for the long run. <sighs> so what are you going to do now? Go back to the KGB. What do you want me to do? Did you ever think about coming back to America? I can't go back. I've left America behind me. But you saved this country. I didn't do it alone. And I still owe you a dinner. Tch. <laughs> 
Is that part of your mission too? Or is it an order? Or is it an invitation? Hmm. Or a proposal? I'm just gonna leave you two for a bit. <laughs> I don't take orders from anyone now. Scholars tell us that the first spy in history was the snake in the book of Genesis. In that story, it was Eve who was tempted by the snake in the Garden of Eden. But this time around, it was I who tempted the snake and got away with the forbidden fruit of knowledge. Forgive me, snake. So much for not taking orders anymore. stuff back then. Good morning, Snake. I hope you slept well. First of all, I have to apologize. I wasn't sent by Khrushchev. I'm not a KGB spy, and I never worked for the NSA. I'm an agent of Republic of China for the General HQ 2nd Department of the People's Liberation Army. It was all a lie. I tricked you. And Snake's just smoking at a cigar. With his... Is that a turtleneck? <laughs> that triumph. The philosophers still exist in China, too. You see, Cause that ain't cam my camo. <laughs> mission was to find out where Volgan was hiding the philosopher's legacy and steal it. So I infiltrated his base as a KGB spy. The two NSA codebreakers who defected in 1960 were actually both men. You. The real Adam never showed up at the meeting place. Saving me the trouble of having to eliminate him. I sneaked in by pretending I was Eva. And you and Sokolov and Volgan, you all believed me. The philosopher's legacy was originally held in common between the US, Soviet Union, and China. 
We couldn't let the Russians and the Americans take it all for themselves. The Chinese government had its eye on the legacy, too. I got the film containing the legacy. And also the nuclear missile launch data from the Shagohad. Hmm. Huh. Five years ago, the Soviet Union stopped supplying us with nuclear weapons technology. Since then, China's Liandan easing hydrogen bomb and space rocket projects have fallen behind. But with this data, our country will be able to develop its own nukes. Oh, great. We'll create a deterrent force to rival those of the U.S. and Soviet Union. Everything has gone according to plan, thanks to your help. I, too, am one of the philosophers. I'm an agent of the Philosophers, a graduate of one of their charm schools. I was raised in a joint U.S.-Soviet-Chinese facility to become a sleeper agent. This was before the war. Back then, they were collecting children from all over the world. As a result, I'm indistinguishable from a native-born American. So it didn't surprise me when you and Volgan couldn't tell the difference. But she knew right from the beginning she knew because before the war, she was at one of the philosopher's schools, too, as an instructor. The boss was the only one I couldn't fool. <laughs> she was the only one who knew I was a fake. She told me everything. Why did she open her heart to me like that? At the time, I, I couldn't understand it. But now, I think I do. Snake. She wanted you to know the truth. She chose me to tell you. That's why she saved my life. I've lied to you so many times, but not this time. My orders from the government were to obtain the legacy. And to eliminate everyone who knew the truth about what happened. In other words, I'm supposed to kill you. Not because we loved each other. And not because you saved my life. But because I made a promise to the boss. And I intend to keep it. I just wanted you to know. And you have to live. Notice how a lot of Metal Gear Solid games end with just live. Just keep living. This message will self destruct and. Oh, never mind. Alright, the awards Snake. ceremony. Listen to me. She didn't betray the United States. No. Far from it. She was a hero who died for her country. She carried out her mission knowing full well what was going to happen. Self-sacrifice. <coughs> because that was her duty. Even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. Get ready for a creepy part. Watch this. You are a true patriot. <gasps> you! Oh! You got a guy that's from Russia outside your window. <laughs> that's supposed to be an achievement too, but I already got it. I knew it. I've known it was there since uh, since like the original game. <laughs> Not even subsistence, like 
snake eater. <laughs> That's your... Oh, never mind. <sighs> Screw you. You know, we could use an infiltration unit like Fox in the army. Someone like him to handle our top secret sneaking missions for us. A man who combines the qualities of a soldier and an agent. The boss's defection was a ruse set up by the U.S. government. It was all a big drama staged by Washington so they could get their hands on the philosopher's legacy. Mm. And the boss was the star of the show. They planned it so that they could get the legacy that Colonel Volgan inherited and destroy the Shagohat at the same time. Only a legendary hero like the boss could have earned Volgan's trust. Finding out where the philosopher's legacy was hidden was to be her greatest mission. Everything was going according to plan. Then something happened that no one could have predicted. Colonel Volgan fired an American-made nuclear warhead at Sokolov's research facility. Yeah, that's gonna happen. Khrushchev demanded that the U.S. government provide proof that it wasn't involved. They couldn't just abort the operation to steal the legacy. So the operation itself was greatly expanded and revised. The authorities in Washington knew that in order to prove its innocence, they'd have to get rid of the boss. And that one of their own would have to do the job. The public couldn't be allowed to find out about it. Not ever. This, they concluded, would be the best way to keep the whole thing under wraps. The boss wouldn't be allowed to come back home alive. And she wouldn't be allowed to kill herself. Her life would be by her most beloved disciple. That was the way the government wanted it. That was the mission she was given. And she had no choice but to carry it out. Her death in your hands was a duty she had to fulfill. Out of duty, she turned her back on her own comrades. A lesser woman would have been crushed by such a burden. The taint of disgrace follow her to her grave. Future generations will revile her. In America as a despicable traitor with no sense of honor. And in Russia as a monster who unleashed a nuclear catastrophe. She will go down in official history as a war criminal. And no one will ever understand her. That was her final mission. Hmm. That sucked to and get like that a true soldier, she saw it through to the end. But I think she wanted you, of all people, to know the truth. She wanted to live on in your memory. Not as a soldier, but as a woman. But she was forbidden to tell you herself. And that's why she told me. Snake. <laughs> History will never know what she did. No one will ever learn the truth. Her story, her debriefing, will endure only in your heart. her life and her honor for her native land. She was a real hero. She was a true patriot. Snake eyes.
let you all read this. I'm not reading this. Except for the ones that I gotta say. Saint joins ARPA, which later turns into DARPA. Major Zero disbands Fox. Big Boss establishes Foxhound in 1971. These are kind of spoilers, too, just to let you all know, especially right here. Les Enfants Terribles Project. 1972. The sons of Big Boss are born. Actually, wait. Oh, wow. They didn't actually show spoilers too much. Because I'm pretty sure there were some credits in certain... Maybe it was Metal Gear Solid 4 that had the those spoilers. Could have swore that timeline had something to do with, like, certain you things that I shouldn't say in this playthrough because I'm gonna be going through that game eventually. Tell you where to but go. yeah, that was Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. But it's not over yet. I'll be back whenever so the credits are done. So yeah, be right back.
They'll tell you where to go But they won't know Yes, Grozny Grad and the Granin Research Facility have both been wiped out without a trace. I understand, sir, but they were necessary sacrifices. Yes, the CIA has taken care of the boss themselves. I believe the White House will be satisfied. Khrushchev is finished. Your time has finally arrived. Yes, the American president is relying on us to keep a lid on the whole affair. We've got him by the balls. It should make a valuable trump card in future negotiations. Yes, Chief Director, of course. I'll keep the KGB informed. Okay. Yes, it's me. The boss has accomplished her mission. The philosopher's legacy is now safely with us, in America's hands. With this money, yes, the philosophers can finally be revived. The film we handed the Chinese was a fake. Oh. <laughs> Peking must be in an uproar right about now. <laughs> I'm afraid so. Only half the money has made it back to the United States. Mm. The KGB must still have part of the legacy. Half and half, like I said, if from Metal Gear Online. Yes, the weapon has been reduced to ashes. That's right. Grozny Grad has been obliterated by the Davy Crockett we brought in as well. Yes, that was the boss's work, too. 
speaking of which, I've obtained something from Granin that you might find interesting. It's a revolutionary new nuclear attack system. Perhaps it might just come in handy someday. Metal Gear! Yes, we have John, I, I mean cameras. Snake, to thank for that. Khrushchev believed it as well. Is that gonna help? Yes, they bought no. our story. I don't think they'll be making a fuss. The secondary alert has been lifted as well. And the Soviets still haven't discovered my true identity. They have no idea that I've been triple-crossing them. Dang! I will continue my activities as a contact for the new government. Yes, it appears that no one knew that I was Adam. Except me, Adamska. Of course. I'm always at the CIA's disposal. Mr. Director. Mr. Director. Snake Eater. Okay. So, how many times I actually saved Peace Walker? Uh, European Extreme. 10 hours, 28 minutes, 58 seconds. I saved 56 times, continued zero, alert phase zero, humans killed zero, seriously injured seven times, total damage two life bars, not bad, life medicines used, zero, plants and animals captured 27, meals eaten 31, special item, not used. Approved by... I have no idea who that is, but I guess my title is Tsuchinoko because I captured a Tsuchinoko. Figures. <laughs> no item obtained! I got the Patriot. I got the camera. I got the stealth camo. I got green face paint. Okay. I got brown face paint. Okay, times two. I got infinity face paint. I got national flag face paints. I got Mr. Tuxedo. I got DPM and Oscam desert camo. I got unlocked download camo. You got Metal Gear Solid 3 download camo pattern. Uh, check the camo list, some locked section. Okay, so those are in the game. Okay, good. I thought those weren't, and I was going... I made a video that will be after this saying that I thought they weren't, so please ignore me saying that. Please and thank you. <laughs> I got Desert Tiger camo. I got Flectarn camo. That is it. Do you want to save? Yes, I would like to save. Where would you like to save at? I would like to save right there. Yes. Now, what did I unlock? Hi. Okay, where's the... Is the trophies right here? No. Game... Trophy list? Yes. So it should be all the way down at the bottom saying Peace Walker. Finish game without killing anyone. Like a boss. <laughs> Screw that. The car... Sneak up on the end and hold him up. Find every face paint. I know where one that I missed is because I missed it because I would have had to have gone all the way back so far away, find every type of camouflage. I could have swore I did. Maybe I just haven't. I need to look that up a little bit. Call every tune in Tokyo. Snake bit. Oh, poison a guard. Oh, man. If you're going for a kill, if you don't care about killing people, that's cool. It's cool how you can kill people in this game. Achieve a camo index of 100%. That's easy enough. I probably could do that in this video. 
just really quickly. Collect every type of snake, collect every type of bird, mushroom, fruit. Where's snake? Oh, there's snake eyes. See all of the first person views that are not indicated by the R1 button that icon. So, the last one I did, unlock that. Okay, enough of that. I'm not gonna sing for you again. Sorry, guys. Let me just let me just do something real quick, just to show you that I can unlock it real fast. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna skip all the cup cut scenes, of course. I guess I can say this is epilogue right now. Wait. Oh. After the end you don't of even World get to choose two, what difficulty you want to do. Two, east and in west. this game, this I forgot the beginning about of the that. Called the Cold War. So yeah, once you start European Extreme, you're going to be stuck with European Extreme no matter what. Isn't that fun? Not really. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Shut up. I wanna wanna get to my backpack. Shut up. You talk too much. I need to get my backpack. Backpack. Backpack snake. Snake. Backpack. Backpack. Also, if you collect every single animal in the game, you get the easy gun. Which is the easy gun? One of the most OP guns in the game. <laughs> Basically infinite ammo. Silenced. Tranquilizer. Small gun, too. Haven't used that in forever. I think when I first started playing Metal Gear Solid, I used the. I played on easy or whatever that unlocks it, and. Yeah, it. Very overpowered. <laughs> it's kind of like the gun that you'll see me using in one of the next few videos. It's a gold gun. Snake. You'll find out what it is. <laughs> I'm not spoiling anything, because there's going to be an after thing. Okay. So I unlocked all the... I unlocked Mr. Tuxedo Man. Ooh, look at that. Stylish. Okay, backpack. Stealth camo. Alright, how do you get 100%? Am I getting... Am I seriously not unlocking it? Apparently you don't unlock it that way. I know how I can maybe unlock it, maybe. I thought I could. Kabuki. Green? Ugh. Okay, I have no idea how to unlock this. If anything, I'm just showing... That was just a show of... You can't unlock it with just doing this. Because, yeah. It, ain't, it don't do nothing. You don't unlock that. Unlocking that... Don't get you an easy trophy. Sorry to say. So yeah, that'll be it for this playthrough. I hope you all enjoyed it. Sorry for the laggy camera last few bits, but yeah. I've been recording this for the past, like, four hours maybe. So yeah. You're not going to get that. I might speed up. Nah, I don't know. Don't know yet. I just know the program's been going on for, like past four hours, so it's very laggy. That's why you're seeing this very laggy, but feel free to subscribe by pressing that button right there, and saying you want to subscribe to me, feel free to give a like, 
they help me out a lot. Don't know how much I have to say that to let you all know that likes really help me out. <laughs> um, comment, just comment on any of the videos just to say what your thoughts are. And there's going to be a little tiny bit more, but it's going to be on the PS2 disc. It's going to be on the second disc that is not available on the HD collection, so... Yeah. I have to say that... It was a fun game. Some... Very... Excruciating parts, as you all know. <laughs> um... And yeah, I'm, I'll try to start up, I guess, Portable Ops next, since that's the next one in chronological order of things, and I'll try to think of another game to play as well. But yeah, I'll do an update video just to let you all know what game I, I should do next. So with that, I will catch you all next time.